welcome to my studio. I'd like to share with you how you might be able to just keep your feet in touch with the organ pedal board if you're in total lockdown and haven't got an electronic or digital practice organ at home. This is a craft pedal board I made many years ago. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sound, but it helps the imagination. And it's really light because it's made of balsa. To make one like that, first, you need to know the measurement, which I believe is available on the internet. Next, you need hand saw or craft saw if you're not comfortable with power tools. And you need glue. Once you have decided how many keys you want, cut them up, get a board just like this, glue them on. Then if you have your hand, um, your, your paint and paintbrush ready, paint something, paint color, sand, 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 sand until none of the keys are scratchy. The key to make it helpful is to make naturals shorter, and the accidentals a little bit taller so your feet can feel. If you're lucky you have a pedal board, your problem is solved already. You don't need to watch my video, you just stop now. And however, I just want to show you, share with you, I got this pedal board on eBay from a redundant pipe organ um, from New South Wales somewhere. It's tracker action, that means it has got no facility to make any sound. So I bought a MIDI kit, MIDI kit from a, a Eastern European gadget company. Sent it to an engineer, he modified the whole thing for me and installed a box here with power plug and MIDI port. So I plugged the MIDI port to this old and very very heavy uh, Yamaha Hammond, very old, from the, I think, 1970s. Mm -hmm. And then when I switch on this machine, it gives me this default sound. And I have a choice of different sounds. to have a second keyboard. So first I de de decide how deep I want to have a shelf. The advantage of this is everything is right up against the wall. I don't lose any floor space. I can put everything in a tiny room. You can see this is the width of my room, the end of the harpsichord to here. I have no more room. So this is really ideal. To put everything together, it's really handy to have blocks. You just buy a one dollar um, off-cut timber, chop it into X number of blocks, use rubber band to hold them, and as non-slip facility. One on each side to your height. Up, second keyboard. This also is, um, has a MIDI port at the back. So if I want the pedal board to speak piano, I just plug, unplug the MIDI port from that keyboard and plug it in there. Right. So with this, I'm able to do this kind of playing without having to worry too much about not being able to reach. This plastic music stand, music desk, came from a very old keyboard. It's not very straight, like a lot of keyboard music desks. So, to compensate the problem, all you need is really something you normally put in your recycle bin after you opened a packet of something. Carton board, 
nice and wide. And you're done. way to go without trying to source an organ bench painting platform $59.99 from Bunnings many years ago adjustable legs four positions if I need to paint something just pick it up and paint scratches edge find a nice piece of timber polish it sand it sand it sand it sand it round it and send and send and send until it doesn't scratch. Then wax, 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 polish. Put something underneath, glue, no nails, very simple. So it doesn't move. To finish, a few unused timber off cut, what to do? Storage, put it under. Also as footrest, very handy. Nothing is wasted. A stopper, so that it neither moves. Storage shell for organ shoes and for a box of music. And it's done. So I hope it gives you some ideas and so you don't feel too depressed just because you can't go and play the organ. This machine makes a horrible sound. The touch is really disgusting. But at least there is something. Thank you for watching.